and you are at Fanny's House of Music in Nashville, Tennessee. We opened in July of 2008. Vintage clothes and guitars may not be the most obvious combination at first blush, but it really makes sense in practice and it contributes to the friendly atmosphere. We can get you stage ready. We've got your stage clothes, got the gear, the whole nine yards. <laughs> yeah. We just want to be inviting, not overwhelming, not overstimulating, just a, a place that you can feel okay to try something new or ask a question. It's not like any other experience walking into another music store where sometimes you never get talked to, especially as a woman. It's just home, literally. Our owners, Pamela and Lee, saw a need for a music store that was comfortable for everyone, regardless of their skill or age or gender. They both had the experience of being ignored in music stores or condescended towards, and they just wanted to make a place that was inviting and comfortable. You know, you're allowed to take up space. You're allowed to be creative. Whether you're, you know, a boy or a girl or anything in between, it's okay to be loud in here. <laughs>Well, there's definitely something special about vintage instruments. They have stories and songs in them, and we love to find them new places to create new memories and new stories and songs. If you or anyone you know is looking for a guitorgan, um, <laughs> this has two modes, one where the organ is on all the time and one where it comes in momentarily. So you can like be playing the guitar, like if you're strumming or whatever, and you can kind of do your, a boom chick, boom chick with the organ. It's all analog. It doesn't have any um, power or batteries in it or anything. The pedal is where it gets the power. Fanny's House of Music is named for the band Fanny. Fanny was a all-female rock band in the 70s, and they influenced a lot of important rock music that got made in the years following. And they inspired a lot of women to pick up instruments and rock. And they were particularly influential to one of our owners, whose older sister gave her a Fanny record, and she was inspired to learn bass. Several instruments I have taken home <laughs> in the last year. It's pretty sweet. It's a baritone built by a local guy named George Bradfute. I'll add that to my collection eventually. I've been a fan of all of his guitars that have, have came in, but it's just set up nice. It sounds fantastic, but... George makes high quality yeah. heart style builds um, that tend to have the traditional shapes, but maybe have something a little unique. He likes to do fun things with wiring. They always play really, really good, which is why our customers like them, and they're great for anybody who's looking for a traditional kind of look, like a mm -hmm. vendor style look, um, but still want that handmade touch. Something that nobody else in the world will have. <laughs> yeah, because he, he gets a little wild with the colors sometimes. <laughs> this is a uh, Wurlitzer guitar. Um, the the brand is actually called Academy, but they were, they were made by Wurlitzer, and um, it's very fannies to me. It's really old <laughs> and it's it's had a lot of great quality repairs to to get it playable and um you know it's from it's from the 1800s like think of what this all has seen what songs have been played on this you know what songs hadn't been played on it probably old town road you know <laughs> so you know it's just it's just got a really how do you play old town road Every 1800s power guitar should have Old Town Road played on it. <laughs> so yeah, we just, we love this kind of stuff because we love to give it a new life and find someone else who can make memories on it. And it's got more songs to, to write. Honestly, like the stuff that's most special to me is people's first instrument. Always really cool to, to see a kid go home with a guitar for the first time, to learn how to play a power chord with distortion in the store and to see them experience that power in themselves. The power of rock <laughs> is undeniable. 
It's undeniable, and everybody can do it, you know? And, and not everybody has been given permission to do it over time. Nashville's an amazing town for guitar stores, and everybody kind of has their thing that they're great at. There's lots of other great stores, even now in East Nashville, which is awesome. Um, but the, the stuff that is a little more funky, catalog stuff, 60s, 70s, made in Japan, people know that we like that stuff and that we don't mind investing a little energy into that kind of thing because um, our customers love it too. We have bulk Diderio strings back at the repair bench because they're super consistent and they're just perfect for us. I probably first tried Diderio strings in college and then when the NYXLs came out, I was done because those are just the best strings ever. But they're really good on pedal steel. Woo! NYXL pedal strings are the best. The durability to tone ratio is correct on those. Uh, and that's a really hard thing on pedal steel. Man, you break a pedal steel string and that's a rough vibe on a gig. Um, so you need something that, that stays together but also sounds great and sounds great for as long as possible. Man, those changed, those changed my game on pedal steel. I think people can tell a lot about fannies just from walking in you know, that we want you to feel comfortable. And it's okay to do something you've never done before. It's just a place where you can feel free to be creative and try. <laughs>